southern Turkey a new link to the rest of the region. Hatay is gearing up for the opening of a brand new ferry terminal. Officials say it's much needed infrastructure in an area that relative to other parts of the country has been isolated for decades. The people of Hatay are eager for this project to open and start operating as soon as possible. It will provide great income to the region's economy, both commercially and through tourism. Hatay province is home to Antakya and Iskenderan, which are among the oldest settlements in Turkey. Both were major centers for commerce and culture for thousands of years. The area is also a natural landing point for visitors from Lebanon, Libya, and Israel. Yet it doesn't rank among the country's top tourist destinations, and it's not for a lack of demand. Around 100,000 people from Hatay currently live in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Travelers would come in and out more frequently if the infrastructure was in place. There aren't a lot of flights to Hatay at the moment. Most planes go to Adana. And if you want to go to Northern Cyprus from here, you can only fly to the capital. Then you have to get other flights to other cities or go by road, and that takes hours. The new ferry terminal will change that. Once this facility opens next month, there'll be daily ferries to and from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Eventually, officials hope to add routes to Lebanon, Libya, and Israel. That would transform Hatay into a key tourism hub in the eastern Mediterranean. Advocates of the project hope to welcome up to 50,000 tourists through the port this year. That'll contribute to the record-breaking 2 million visitors Hatay wants to host in 2022. Paulo Montesilio, TRT World, Hatay.